Normally, fetal skull bones are separated from each other by a non-ossified membrane, known as sutures. Molding means approximation, or even overlapping, of skull bones. The condition has three grades. When the bones approximate to each other with no intervening membrane, it is considered one plus. Overlapping of bones, which is reducible, is two plus. While overlapping bones, which is non-reducible, is considered three plus. Mild degree of molding is helpful in reducing the engaging diameter of the fetal head. The biparietal diameter, for example, may decrease by up to one centimeter, which make it easier for the fetal head to pass through the maternal pelvis. However, severe molding, especially associated with cabot, indicates obstructed labor. Molding will shape the shape of the fetal head, while the engaging diameter decreases, the perpendicular diameter will elongate. Here, for example, the engaging diameter is suboccipital pragmatic. During the molding, it will decrease, while the perpendicular diameter will elongate. This happens with all the engaging diameter. Here, for example, the engaging diameter is occipital frontal. The engaging diameter is submental pragmatic. The engaging diameter is mental vertical. This condition usually resolves within one or two days after delivery. Cabot is a swelling of the fetal skull. It is formed due to compression of the fetal head by the girdle of contact. The girdle of contact may be cervix, vagina, or any other genital tissue that compress the fetal head. As you see, compression by girdle of contact will compress blood vessels and result in stagnation of blood which consequently results in exudation of fluid outside blood vessels. This swelling is described as diffuse, boggy swelling, not limited to suture lines. It appears at time of birth and resolves within 24 hours. It contains serosanguinous fluids and the cabot has no complications. Cabot formation signify a static position for a long time. Also, its location gives an idea about the position and the degree of flexion of the fetal head.